I just, I love music. Is that your way of kind of getting things out? Yes, it is definitely a release, almost like a pen stiller. Do you think you're abnormal? <laughs> People actually say that often. But in terms of just how personality-wise, I don't know, I like it. I like what it's done to me. So when you start using a blade, when you cut off the skin from your feet, It brings relief. It reduces the pain quite a lot. That's the main reason. Shaving my feet is something that I can do every day if I, if I had the time. It's, it takes a lot of time. Can you observe the layers, the thickness? Is it visible like that? It's not like... The, the rings of a tree or anything like that. It's more like, well, packed. Packed, yes, many layers, many layers, which eventually results in a personality without many layers. It's not a problem for me to be raw or open with people. It's, it feels like that's what you should be. So you're not an onion. Ogres have layers! <laughs> How would you describe yourself? There's a quote that I love that kind of does. Um, I have a happy personality with a heavy soul and sometimes it gets weird. <laughs> So you have this severe skin condition. It's called Pachonychia congenita, which is a mouthful. Yes. <laughs> and when I tell most doctors that that's what I have, they first have to Google it, <laughs> which is kind of annoying. <laughs> but it's pretty much a very thick skin that is kind of filled with blisters and nerve endings. And therefore, the biggest problem with it is mainly pain, which sounds not so serious, but it's, <laughs> it's an extremely big problem. <laughs> Can you try and help us understand what this could be compared to? The way that I usually explain it is using northern lights or aurora. It kind of feels like that type of movement in my foot. It moves around like that, exactly the way it looks. Um, and it's, it's the hardest one to control. Pain pills don't really work. I think it's something that a lot of people don't realize, but suffering is a gift. It doesn't. It doesn't always feel like that. But it's something that almost adds a dimension to your life that you didn't know exists. 
relationships are deeper and more raw and and it's priceless so but has it been worth it <laughs> Yes. If my soul has to answer you, yes. If my human side has to answer you, no. <laughs> but you're still stuck, stuck in a body that is not made for this world. But it's not about your body, it's about your soul. And that's what is freed. So, Proud flesh basically means walking on raw flesh. It's, it's a raw flesh protrusion. It is extremely hard-headed in nature. It just pushes through any circumstances and PCS just taught me that I have to do exactly the same. So you're kicking it in the butt? Pretty much, yes. <laughs> I think you're brave. No, because you don't have a choice. Bravery, I think, is a choice. It's not, it's, it isn't a choice. I think you're brave. What, what happens when you express the pain that you work so hard to suppress? My name is Megan May McGee and I have too much skin. It all started in mystery and it will all end in mystery. But what a savage and beautiful country lies in between. That's beautiful. They all look the same. Can you see them? No one can, but it's there. I think singing is more like um, a treatment, it soothes. What other stuff do you feel soothing? God. I believe that there is a reason for this. And this is only the beginning. There's definitely more. Well, there's certain things you want to do before you die. No, I feel like so far it's been enough. <laughs>